well, here's a video topic that will interest four, maybe six people, but it's not something I cover a whole lot on this channel, and I recently purchased these magazine pouches, and they're really cool, and I want to show them off, and then I want to try to make my case for why I bought these and get your opinions, but also talk about gear in general, because it's not something I ever really talk about. I'm not really a tactical player or anything like that, but gear can be rather important. Now, magazine holders are nothing new. People have been buying, like, you know, army surplus pistol magazine holders for a variety of different weapons and making them fit for things like this, or AK-47 pouches are really known to hold, like, nerf the full-size magazines rather well and so forth. And there's a lot of different options out there to get these kinds of things. I'm not gonna say how much these cost me yet, but I bought these specifically because they do something that I hadn't really seen. So these are made by STAC and they are magazine holders like for the CZ Scorpion, I believe. I will have a link down below to the exact model that this is. These are not meant for nerf or anything like that, but conveniently, as with a lot of things, they happen to work really well. But the thing they do is that they're not just pouches, they're actually kind of firm because they have like a Kydex liner inside of them, which not only gives them kind of a rigid shape, but the coolest part is if I take one of these talons and I put it in there, it friction fits it in place. Like you can pull it out, but it is not going to come out no matter how hard I try. And I can put the magazine in both ways. And it's really freaking cool. And it works with katanas as well. And probably your 3D printed derivatives. Not that I have any really to test, but to give you an idea. And they are molly compatible. They have a variety of different things. In fact, you can even get like belt straps and stuff if you're not using molly. And it comes with these WT fix straps, which are rather interesting. Uh, I have never used these before and I'm gonna have to get a crash course on how to install them, but it should be rather simple for what it is. It's just a strap that holds this piece of gear to whatever molly thing. Molly is like the little strap loops that you kind of see right here. It's customizable and a lot of like tactical gear and stuff will have molly loops on them. So it means you can put this anywhere that there's molly loops and you can kind of organize them in whatever way you happen to want. Like on my battle backpack, for instance, there is molly not only around the backpack itself, but most importantly around the straps that go around my waist, there's molly loops there so I can put these there. And I wanted some pistol holder, pistol mag holders, you know, talon mag holders, because, well, I they're becoming more and more important. Short darts are kind of the future of the hobby. I only wish that every single blaster ever would use short darts because they're just more efficient. Even like the worst short darts ever are still better than most of the best full length elite dart shooter kind of things. And these are really cool. I bought three of them because I didn't really see myself needing more than six magazines on any one engagement, especially in what would most likely be a competitive scenario if I'm gonna waste the money using half-length darts because these are usually a little more expensive depending on what kind of dart you're using and what blaster you're using them out of. And the idea, these were shown to me at Ragnar Oktoberfest by my friend Tyler, is that since you can kind of click these in place, they're not going anywhere. And that also means that if I really wanted to, I could mount these whatever flipping way I want. I could mount them sideways. I could mount them upside down. I can do whatever I would like because it will never drop the mag. And even if I want to like mount these on my shoulders or something, which is something I've considered doing, I can do that. And that gives you a lot of flexibility. And then it kind of becomes into a factor of one, is that kind of gear important and is it going to actually improve my game at all? And B, were these things worth buying? Now, you could make a holster for these kinds of magazines out of cardboard and duct tape. And you could just make them a really tight fit and that would work perfectly fine for pretty much everybody. Will they do kind of what I'm talking about? Possibly, at least for a little while. You can also print out all sorts of magazine holders, build your own and stuff like that. I'm going to say right off the bat, now that we're about four and a half minutes into the video, these things cost me $35 each. So this is about $120 worth of gear you see sitting in front of you. It comes with these six straps, because that's what I ordered, and the three mag pouches, two by two. Many of you are like, that's that's crazy, why would I ever do that? And some of you are like, ah, that's really cheap, all things considered, because if you look at like the firearms world... Stuff is not cheap. Like, even the most... Things I look at all the time. Like, dumb things. Like, you can buy really cheap 
red dot sights. I mean, this is actually like a $60 one, and that's more expensive than a lot of them. But this is nothing. You can buy pieces of metal and glass that are this big that will cost you three times, four times this amount. And no magnification or anything. It is ridiculous, but people will pay it because if you have a brand name, you have quality, people really like that. And from what I've seen, STAC is really regarded highly within this kind of, well, they had good reviews. That's all I know. And they're local. They are somewhere in the, a little bit north of me in Washington, probably about an hour and a half away or whatever. It took me about a day or so after I ordered these to get the shipping email. And it took less than 12 hours after that for it to, you know, I got the shipping the next day and they were at my doorstep, which is always cool. But why exactly would I want to spend $35 each on these kinds of holders? Well, again, they do something that I wasn't, that I have a lot of flexibility for. If I want to mount these anywhere I have Molly or even places where I don't have Molly, this kind of system, these four loops and whatnot that I can do all sorts of things with, I could put them wherever I want. I can do all sorts of kind of thing. That kind of flexibility really made me think for the future that I have lots of mounting options to do lots of cool things with magazines. So I can put them in weird places. I want to mount them to my damn arm. I totally can do that. And it would be awesome because they're never going to fall off or anything like that. And I got a piece of gold. Oh, this is going to be everywhere. So many names are on the workbench now. Patreon.com forward slash Walcom S7. Get your name on the workbench for five bucks a month. Thank you very much to these beautiful people who keep their names here. Will this make me a better player instantly or something like that? No, but there are little tiny pieces of gear that one can buy that will drastically improve your performance. The first of which is most likely a sling. And you can make a sling out of pretty much any kind of cordage. However, if you want to get really fancy, there's all sorts of different kinds of slings. There's two-point slings, one-point slings, three-point slings. It doesn't matter. There's a whole bunch of whatever is customizable for you. There are quick detachment slings, and there are ones that are more comfortable. There's so many different things you can buy to kind of tailor your playstyle. And, I mean, there are going to be expensive slings out there, and people will buy them and then use them for... Fling and foam darts, which is absolutely ridiculous to me. But then again, I own like a $400 backpack that is meant for hunting and survival, and I use it to hold foam dart blasters and accessories. So, oh man, I love the, just the hilarity of this hobby. It really gets me sometimes. So to answer some kind of question of, was this worth it? Well, to me, yes, totally. To you, you're probably thinking I'm crazy. Some of you are already clicked in the description and already made your own order because this solved the problem that you had that you wanted to fix. And that's like what I spend, I have tactical vests, for instance, but what I spend a lot of money on a tactical vest that had a specific holster in a specific place that I wanted to use, or some kind of unique mounting system, or would I buy some kind of optic, or some kind of sling, or anything, would I spend the kind of money on that? If it does something that I feel that will accent my gameplay and make me a more comfortable and better player and help me have more fun, then yeah, totally, and this is something that would do that, and it makes me... And the, the mounting options for these things are kind of ridiculously awesome, and I have so many ideas of what to do with these. I mean, that's the kind of what's going to happen with any kind of gear I purchase, or basically anything ever. 3D printers, computers, you name it. Somebody's going to be like, ah, you should have just done this. Because there are experts everywhere. They come in a wide variety of different camo patterns, by the way. I chose this, uh... Cryptek, I think it's called, because I was going to put this on the orange and black backpack, and I was going to get purple, and I figured that kind of clashed a little bit. So I just got basic black, and if I ever need to resell them, people usually like black, and you can paint them whatever you want, so I guess it wasn't too much of an issue. They're very well made. I don't think these things will probably last longer than me. I'm not worried about them breaking or anything like that. The stitching is excessive, to say the least. And I'm really happy with them, and I can't wait to start using them. The main reason I picked these up is because of things like the Griffin or the Talon Claw or my Short Dart FDL. And it's one of those things where it's like, I can't really recommend it. You'll probably think I'm crazy, but at the same time, stuff like this is really, like, it's cool and it helps me. And, well, that's what I spend YouTube bunnies on. <laughs> I mean, I needed some mag holders. And please don't ask. I'm sure you're already doing it down in the comment section. Oh, what ones will fit this mag? Or will it fit? Like, what can I use to fit? Will their AK mags fit, you know, normal? I have no idea. I, I don't have those. And I'm not going to spend $30, $40 just to test. 
I mean, if they're a popular, I, I think it's going to be funny if they're, you know, all of a sudden they get a bunch of orders for this specific magazine and they have no idea why, and then they might see this video because they'll figure out where all the traffic's coming from. Maybe I can send them an email asking if they can try to fit like a standard Nerf magazine. Somebody probably has one somewhere around there and try to fit it inside, you know, see if they have any of their holders that will fit that. But these are cool. I really like them, and gear isn't going to instantly make you a better player, and the amount of money you spend on gear isn't proportioned to how good you're going to be, but if you have a problem and or something you want to do, there are solutions. It's like buying the right tool for the job. The people like Adam Savage have got, you know, tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars and stuff in tools, and some tools they'll spend a lot of money on and only use once or twice a year, but when they need that tool, they can use it, and their life is much better for that. It's quick and easy, it's painless, and it was worth the expenditure to them and this is kind of one of those things. I have pistol magazine pouches all the, already, but they didn't do that, and you can get, like, the ones with the flaps and stuff on them, which some people like. I didn't. This is much faster for both removing them and inserting them back in, so kind of a rambly video, and I really want to get your feedback down in the comment section below because people are going to have a lot of different opinions on gear, and I'm not really a gearhead, but... I really liked these enough that I spent that amount of money on them. And really, if you just want one, because you're only going to use the two or three, you know, one in your blaster and two, like 35 bucks for a really nice holder, that's not bad. If you ever need to expand in the future, they're there. It made sense to me at the time, but please let me know how much of an idiot I am down in that comment section below. Other than that, I'm Walcom7. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check out my Patreon if you want to get your name on the table. Everybody who gets their name on the table before the end of January gets it in gold. Everybody else will probably be a flat black vinyl. And, uh, <laughs> space is running out. So if you want to get in a good place on the table, yeah, that, that was your time. But of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different video. Can't you see I'm blazing? Still my heart is blazing. If the words kill me, I don't need a new.